Hello and welcome to this week's Faith and Friends. It is a super busy <laughs> week here at TV44 as we are literally in the final days <laughs> before our auction and we are excited for you all to join us Saturday, December, September 12th right here at 1844 Beatty Road. That's right, if you could be in our TV <laughs> studio right now, you would see it is filled with furniture items like couches and tables and chairs, hutches, pictures, dressers, and very soon all of these items will be moved out to the big tent right here at 1844 Beatty Road. Mm. Of course, the very best way to see all the items available at this year's auction is to simply come to the auction. <laughs> it's one week from Saturday. Registration will begin at 8.30 in the morning. Bidding begins a half hour later at 9 a.m. Food available as well as just a great family-friendly atmosphere. And we'll take a closer look at some of this year's auction items on today's show. But first, let's take a look at our scripture, Andy. Luke 6, 38 and 39. Give and you will receive. You will be given much. Pressed down, shaken together and running over. It'll spill into your lap. The way you give to others is the way God will give to you. Jesus told them this story. Can a blind person lead another blind person? No, both of them will fall into a ditch. A student's not better than the teacher, but the student who has been fully trained will be like the teacher. Certainly want to pass those that wisdom along. Jesus had so many great stories. And as we here at TV44 want to impart some of that wisdom from some great teaching and preaching, a great way to do that is through our auction where you can come be a part of it, but then also give financial resources to continue to bring those teaching and preaching things so the teacher can pass along to you and you can then teach others. Start of that verse talked about giving. Giving definitely has been a theme for the past few months at the TV station as many of you are giving items to us. As we start at the show, the final week is here, the TV44 auction, Saturday, September 12th. You are invited to attend. Let's take a look at that schedule. As we mentioned earlier, 8.30 in the morning is when the registration opens, and the opening bid starts at 9. 10.30, the outer ring items will be auctioned, and then the trips will be auctioned off at noon. More furniture, collectibles, antiques, and more are auctioned after the trips. And then at 2 p.m. is the auto auction. Inside the big tent, the furniture and antique auction continues while those cars are being auctioned off and will continue all the way until the very last item is sold. Of course, that includes a travel trailer. <laughs> we have been showing you that tour of that travel trailer that sleeps six. Incredibly nice condition. It is. What a blessing that we would receive a donation just like that. Well, we do have lots and lots of great new items. If you watched our recent auction show last week, then you saw a lot of those items. We're going to show you a few more of those. I'm not sure if these are going to appeal to everybody, but, you know, my... Uh, I, I, might, I know one daughter of mine Yes, uh -huh. that would probably oh, yes. like this doll. Has she seen these yet? Because no, no, there are certain things I do not let her That's see. That's right. <laughs> she will be excited. Last year, Abby donated her entire collection of porcelain dolls mm -hmm. and since then has moved on to things like Legos. So oh, wow. we're sticking yeah. to the Legos. But this is beautiful. This is a beautiful doll. And, and, matching. Yeah, the, and then uh, another bride, uh, the Jackie Kennedy style. Uh, these are both in mint condition. Yeah. Um, really, you know, if you're into the collectible doll world, two really nice pieces that uh, could be yours coming up on September the 12th. It's amazing the number of collectibles that we've received mm. in their boxes. Of course, we have the E.T., we have the McDonald's collectibles, we've got a lot of the movie collectibles, but that's just one example. Andy, pull out that... Um, what is that over there? That you a little got? cornhole set from you and Racer. See here. You think you can? You think you can get it in the hole? Oh, handy. Not exactly how Go the game's way. played. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> oh, missed. And that's how we have a broken nose on the set of Faith and Friends. <laughs> Like there are two man. of these, of course, donated by uh, handcrafted um, by by a local craftsman. Take a look at that. So we've got a handle on it, so it's easy to carry once even, you store it. The other one even has a storage place in the back for the oh, that's very for smart. the bean bags. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, very smart. Yeah, some very. cleaning items. What's what's over here in the? Corner? Oh yes, I was just saying that this is. I'm not sure how to use it. Is it a? You can test it out over my house, Zach. Come on over. Use, I've got a Swiffer at home. It's much easier to use, but this looks like it does a much better job, probably. It Very is nice. A, what's steam. It, called? it is called a floor sanitizer, slim and light. Han brand. Han brand, and it is. I mean. It looks like and it's in great condition, too. Just an example of the fact that we have a little bit of everything, everything you could think about, collectible items, pants. games, cleaning items. Is it working, Zach? We better read the directions uh, see if it's for pretty your clean, pants. So that's, <laughs> that's a good thing. And uh, <laughs> Whoa, good catch. 
this uh, <laughs> another item here. Have you seen this yet, Mark? I did see that. This is a uh, the shoe. This is Ohio State for all you Buckeye fans <laughs> out there, and it's from the rededication in 2001. So very sharp there. Looks like uh, again, so many items in great condition <laughs> as well. Whether they're new, even if, even if they're not brand new, they're in very very good condition. Now, last week, Andy and Zach showcased the cars that we have up for bid. Uh, Zach, any new cars since that? We did. We, uh, and, of course, are expecting, hopefully, uh, one or two more as well. But we got a 2000 Nissan Altima, and this came from Tom All uh, right here in Lima. So, of course, it's an addition, in addition to the 2002 Oldsmobile Alero, the 1999 Chevy Cavalier, the 91 Firebird, and, of course, the 2007 trailer that we just mentioned a few minutes ago. And we're still expecting... Another vehicle from Tom All, some vehicles from Lee Kinsel, and at least one motorcycle. They're all up for bid Saturday, September 12th. Now the cars and vehicles, 2 p.m. right here at 1844 Beatty Road. In addition to the cars and furniture and other items that you'll load up into your trucks and vans <laughs> this Saturday to take to your homes, you'll also have an opportunity to take home some auction items that will provide positive value mm -hmm. to your health. One of those items is a 2030 membership to Fitness Solutions 24-7. Owner Donna Kretsch says the 2030 membership is different than a typical health club membership. Valued at nearly $600, she says this auction item could not, could not just help you lose weight, but also add years to your life. I have a message for you, a message I think is going to bless you. I hope you die young at a very, very old age. That's an Art Linkletter quote. It's one of my favorites. I have a question for you. What dollar value would you put on your health. What dollar value would you put on being able to live and feel fantastic until the day you go to your grave? What dollar value would you put on being able to live well and to live happy and to live healthy? Here's the thing. With our 2030 Fast Track plan, you can. Now you'll lose 20 pounds in 30 days. That's just common. We expect that. But the thing that's so incredible is that people are getting rid of insomnia. No more night sweats, no more hot flashes, no more joint pain, no more inflammation. People are getting off their blood pressure medication because blood pressure is normal very quickly. People are getting off diabetic medication because insulin is stabilizing out. It's incredible how acid reflux is gone after just a few days. This is the way we were intended to live. Happy, healthy, and fully alive. This is how God created us to live. So when you bid on the 2030 Fast Track plan, the most important thing to know that you're receiving are the benefits that I've mentioned. 20 pounds in 30 days, acid reflux gone, blood pressure down, diabetes under control, not feeling irritable anymore, just feeling fantastic. The person that's really right for the 2030 Fast Track bid is the person who wants to feel great. The person who'd like to lose some weight, but like I said, 20 pounds in 30 days, that's just a given. But the person who'd like to see their medical issues come under control. Now, please know we are not physicians. I cannot guarantee you that it will happen, but I can tell you story after story after story of people who have seen fibromyalgia pain disappear, autoimmune disease become completely under control. So if you just want to feel great, you'd like to lose some weight. You don't want to feel like you're losing your mind. You're the right person to bid on this product. Stay tuned. We'll show you more auction items in just a few minutes. But first, we want to take back, let's take a step back in time. Well, not that far back, just a few weeks back to Wayne Stock 2015. Maybe you were there. It was by far the largest Wayne Stock ever and increased the population in St. Mary's by the thousands. As people from as far as away as Canada drove into here national acts like Sanctus Real, Plum, I Am They. Even our own Hannah Beck was part of the lineup for an incredible day of praise and worship. Jennifer spent the day at Waynestock as well, and during all the activity, she found time to catch up with another local band who is finding success on a larger scale. She is with City of Bright, formerly known as Sela and Shekinah Band. I'm backstage at Wayne Stock, and guess who I found? City of Bright is here. A lot has changed since we last had them on TV 44. A name change, new EP, all kinds of great things have been happening. Sayla, Shekinah, and Jesh are here. Give me an update on the way God is just opening doors for you guys. He has. In the past year, we've been down to Nashville and recording our new EP, and it's just been a season of change for us, but it's been a good new season. So. Give me the heart behind this EP. I, I heard you talk from stage about how this is a little bit different than what you've had in the past, but really how you feel God's moving. Yeah, it's just 
songs of hope. We just want people to feel, and when they hear our music, to feel the hope that God has for them. And so, and stylistically, it's a little different too, because we used to have more of an acoustic sound. Now it's a little bit more synth pop, so it's fun. <laughs> Shekinah, why don't you tell me a little bit about Ichthus Festival. You guys were down there recently on the main stage, which was pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah that was that was super awesome, actually. It was probably the biggest stage we've ever played on before, so it was really great to be able to be there with all the other fellow bands as well and just see all the people and meet everyone. It was a huge festival, so it was really it was a great experience for sure. It's been fun for us, you know, locally in Northwest Ohio to watch and see how, how God is evolving your ministry. Jesh, is this what you ever thought it would be when you started? Um, not really, but it's definitely an eye-opener, so, yeah. Well, it's fun to watch the pictures of you on the drums. I've seen them on Facebook a little bit. So what's coming up next? What's the near future, and what's long-term for you guys? Uh, we have a pretty booked fall so far, so we're just going to keep getting out there and getting the new EP out there, and then we're planning to have a spring tour, so that's what's ahead for us next. <laughs> and if people want to get a hold of you, what's the best way? Uh, cityofbright.com. Right on the homepage, we have all the links to all our social media sites, our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, everything. It's right there in one place. <laughs> all right, the new EP is out. If you don't have it yet, I encourage you to, to purchase it. Check them out at one of their recent shows. Just awesome to see how God has taken this sibling group and doing great things with their musical talent. Back to you. Thank you, Jennifer. What a great time at Wayne Stock. Now we take a look and I want to really focus on this next story. The topic is abortion. Studies show if this hasn't affected you personally, you have a loved one, a family member, or a close friend who has been affected or in some way suffered post-traumatic pain after an abortion. It could be the mother, the father, the grandparents, and so often that person has to hurt silently. That's where Constance of Truth International wants to help. Zach has more. Well, thank you, Andy. Joining us now is Sherry Neuenschwander, Director of the Ohio Office of Concepts for Truth International. Thank you for being on with us once again. Hope that everything is going well. Yes, thank you, Zach. I really appreciate it. You're very welcome. So before, there's some exciting things coming up for Concepts of Truth International, specifically in our area here. But before we get there, maybe for our viewers who have not heard of the ministry or not sure what the purpose and mission is, can you give us just kind of an overview of, of what it is that, that you do? Absolutely. Concepts of Truth International is a nonprofit organization. Uh, our office is based in Wynn, Arkansas, mm -hmm. but we have satellite office here, right here in Spencerville, Ohio, and we're developing an office in uh, Caldwell, New Jersey, mm -hmm. and in Derry, New Hampshire. Our focus is abortion recovery, and we do that through our international helpline for abortion recovery and prevention, which is a 24 seven live assistance okay. helpline that takes calls from all across the nation and the world. Mm -hmm. And we provide professional counseling and sexual education, uh, sexual health education sure. in our public schools. And, and your focus is, as we've looked and learned is not just women, which is the first kind of, I think the first thing that comes to people's mind when you think of abortion, but really all of those who've been affected by abortion. Right, abortion affects women, men, our nation, and our world, and all families, mm -hmm. and all generations. So this is just not a woman's issue. So we wanna bring awareness um, to the harm that it comes to everyone, and mm -hmm. then bring the message of hope and healing. And you were mentioning just a minute ago some exciting um, new developments in the ministry and, and some new um, honors that it's received. Absolutely, Concepts of Truth International has our focus here locally and beyond. Mm -hmm. um, we just received a special status, a consolidative status for the Economic and Social Council at the United Nations. So what does that mean? <laughs> As God calls us to the international platform, we're able to go to the UN, attend the conferences, and bring presentations uh, concerning life uh, and meet with members of, of the United Nations, see what's mm -hmm. on the agenda, and even put things on the agenda. So we'll have wow. a strong voice at the United Nations, and we're, we know that it's a God-given yeah. uh, opportunity, and, and we're humbled but yet excited. It's really incredible to see yes. how God's moving and opening new doors. The United Nations is certainly a, a wonderful platform to have. Yes. Well, we did mention something exciting coming up, a recovery weekend right here in St. Mary's, Ohio, um, that Concepts of Truth is is putting on and so tell us a little bit about what people can expect or maybe look for at the recovery weekend. Absolutely. 
Concepts of Truth International is offering um, a local weekend here in St. Mary's, October 23rd through the 25th. Hmm. This is open for both women and or men. Okay. So anyone that might be interested in attending, they would go to our uh, website, internationalhelpline.org. Mm -hmm. They can go to the At Happenings page, and there they would be able to find information about the upcoming weekend. Okay, and so what does the weekend offer in terms of healing and uh, and after looking at the website, people can also be assured that it's, it's a confidential, that your inquiries and that your weekend itself is very um, respected as far as confidentiality. Absolutely. All, con all inquiries are confidential. So when you go to our website, you can get the information of where to contact us, and we will then call you. But everything is absolutely confidential. Mm -hmm. The setting is confidential. Uh, the group is, is very small and intimate, and we just go through the, the grieving process in relation to abortion, but everything is confidential. So there is that one-on-one that -on -one time people can expect where they can um, have that face-to-face um, -face and, and, and really work through their, their uh, grieving. Actually, what happens is when they come, we'll have some group discussion, mm -hmm. but they'll have a private room where they'll go back and they will work through their Bible study portion. Okay. Um, and then we will join together once more. So they will have time of reflection, mm -hmm. a time of reading, and then coming together as a group. Wonderful. Yeah. And is there, um, in terms of food or lodging, how does that, is that provided? Absolutely. Uh, the registration is based on a sliding scale, so you can read about that on our, on mm -hmm. our website, but it includes the meals and um, lodging. And then, of course, the book, you can get that on Amazon.com mm -hmm. or Focus on the Family, which has endorsed our curriculum yeah. model. Um, or CBD. Okay, and so they can go to the website to find out more information. Is there a registration deadline? Um, September the 18th would be a registration deadline. However, at times I will um, um, expand or extend Just that depends. a little bit <laughs> sure. if, if necessary. Sure. Our groups are only six participants. So, okay. um, you know, if we have space available still, I want to, you know, sure. give that person an opportunity. I will um, extend that registration. Sure. Well, wonderful. Thank you so much. Sherry Neuenschwander joining us from Concepts for Truth International. An exciting recovery weekend coming up. If you would like more information, just visit their website. Okay, Jennifer, take it away. Here we have some concert tickets coming available. Thank you, Zach. Well, one of the things I have used for healing in my life has been Christian music. We have quite a group of Christian concert tickets up for auction this year on September 12th. First, courtesy of our friends at Shine FM in Bell Fountain, it's the Matt Marr Saints and Sinners Tour, I Am They and John Guerra, on November 1st. Also, the Josh Wilson Christmas Tour, including J.J. Heller, who we've had here on our TV station, that's on December 4th. Two tickets to each of these. We also have tickets donated by Trinity Communications, Andy, what do you have there? We got some good ones. Chris Tomlin, row six and row eight at the Coliseum in Fort Wayne. That's on Thursday, November the 5th. And then WBCL and Trinity Communications donating some fall concert series passes. So you get some to a magician. Uh, there's also for King and Country, Matt Marr, uh, IMA, same tour uh, that the Shine FM is, Chonda Pierce, uh, Signature Sound, and Mandisa also part of these packages. So some very Nice gifts there. Incredible. Also plenty of tickets from our friends at the Nice Swan Performing Arts Center in Van Wert, including tickets to Mercy Me's Christmas concert, which is coming up December the 5th. We also have tickets to Christmas with David Phelps on Sunday, December 13th. The Home Free Christmas on Saturday, December 12th. And then looking ahead to 2016, Natalie Grant will be at Nye Swanger on March 20th. The Midtown Men will be at Nye Swanger November 14th. Veggie Tales will be oh. at Nye Swanger oh. November the 10th. You might have to outbid Andy on I those. Go to that one. <laughs> and then also Chris Spielman will be speaking yeah. at the Nye Swanger Performing Arts Center coming up September 28th, so a little over a month from now. All kinds of incredible tickets. TV 44 is definitely your concert central. Spread the word. Christian music, great events. All of those are going to be up for bid at the TV 44 auction. Okay, also up for bid. Brace yourself, guys. I know you're going to be fighting over this one. We already agreed beforehand not to. It's the Little Gracie 2 machine quilting system and the Janome sewing machine. It's, it's a whole system. It's not just a machine. It's a system. It is. It's got big arm it's type like a factory things. we're bidding on here? Is it a loom? You, it is like a loom. I don't know. Can you make pot holders? Because that's about the extent of my weaving abilities. I don't know much about sewing. It kind of skipped a generation. My mother's great. My <laughs> children are great. I just accept their gifts. But I'm told the system has a value of $2,300. Wow. And, and there's more. <laughs> it even has a cruise control switch. 
So you can wow. drive to the market while you're doing this. So you can quilt. Uncruise While you're control. watching TV and not paying any attention, have you can watch TV quilt. 44 uh -huh. and you can quilt a quilt for next year's auction. That's well, a great there idea. You go. There are many other items available for the upcoming TV 44 auction, and there is still time for you to bring in your donations. Of course, bring them in to 1844 Beatty Road Monday through Friday, 10 to 3. We do request your items arrive by September the 10th or earlier if possible. Makes it so much easier for us to get them cataloged and out. We have a very limited pickup availability at this point. So if you are not able to bring the items in yourself, ask a friend or a neighbor to bring it by for you. Or give us a call if you have any questions, 419-339-4444. And one more time, the auction schedule is coming up September 12th, 830 is when registration opens. Bidding begins at 9, the outer ring items will be auctioned at 1030. We're going to have some construction items there as well. Trips are at noon. And Mark, how about one final look at our scripture? Luke 6, 38 through 39. Give and you will receive. You will be given much. Pressed down, shaken together and running over, it will spill into your lap. And the way you give to others is the way God will give to you. Jesus then told them this story. Can a blind person lead another blind person? No, both of them will fall into a ditch. A student is not better than the teacher, but the student who has been fully trained will be like the teacher. Something to keep in mind as uh, we are preparing for the auction. September the 12th, hope to see you out there then. Until then, for Andy, Anna, and Zach, I'm Mark Roots. We'll see you next time on Faith and Friends.
sei 